In today's world, where the integrity of our leaders and the trust of the public are constantly tested, the shadow of special interests looms large over our political landscape. J.D. Vance's message speaks directly to the hearts of those who are deeply worried about the corrosive effects of corruption and the overwhelming power of money in politics. He paints a picture of leadership that prioritizes the welfare of the American people over the desires of the wealthy and influential, all while addressing our immediate concerns about economic stability, social justice, and the troubling direction our country seems to be heading. When Kyle Harris raised the price of American energy, Michigan suffered. You suffer. Good American jobs suffer. But you know who made a lot of money? Kyle Harris's donors, the people who benefit from some of these green energy scams where they do things like, you know, build uh, windmills in salt water off the coast of Nantucket. And, of course, they fall apart and get washed up ashore. Right? Crazy stuff. Now, when she forced Americans, using your tax dollars, by the way, to buy EVs made in China, it made Michigan a whole lot poorer but it made the green energy lobby a whole lot richer. And this is a theme with Kamala Harris. I don't know if you noticed, but every time she makes a decision that makes us poorer or makes our country weaker, there is somebody standing behind her who benefits. Just for example, when she let in millions of illegal aliens, it made our communities less safe, but it did give the Democrats a lot of voters. And they're trying to give illegal aliens the right to vote in major cities all across this country. Now, here's the thing. On November the 5th, this great betrayal from Kamala Harris, it's going to stop because we're going to let Donald J. Trump president of the United States. There is a growing fear that Kamala Harris's recent decision is swayed more by the interests of powerful donors than by what's best for the American people. J.D. Vance doesn't shy away from this concern. His words cut through the noise, criticizing the pervasive influence of money in politics and pointing out the harsh reality the policies presented as beneficial to the public may, in truth, serve only a privileged few. The notion that Kamala Harris's actions might simultaneously claim to support Americans while actually leaving them poor and more vulnerable circuits, a deep chord with those who hold conservative values dear, values that emphasize transparency, accountability, and the safeguarding of American jobs and communities.